So now what we're going to be looking at is the mechanism of how proteins with an NLS and that are greater than 60 kilodaltons get taken up and brought into the nucleus. So as we go through this mechanism, I'll be pointing out what the structures are on the image and then what's going on. Okay, so again, this is a step-by-step -step cyclic mechanism. And as you know, Dr. Keller with cyclic mechanisms loves to ask this as a test question, either as an essay, diagram and describe, or he might put this in particular order, and you'll have to figure out the correct order of the steps. So pay close attention. All right. So again, we have our, what we're going to have first is our cargo protein, represented up here in brown with a little black square. This black square is representing the NLS, the Nuclear Localization Signal. At the same time out in the cytoplasm, there's a protein, another one, called Important. I-M-P-O-R-T-I-N. Important. Important is represented here by this red structure. Now, important is a cytoplasmic protein that actually binds and recognizes the NLS of a protein. And that's exactly what we see here, represented by the cargo complex. So the cargo complex is our protein that is destined to go to the nucleus, being attached and hooking up with the protein important. Now, important is very similar to another protein that we looked at before, the SRP. Remember, the SRP was the signal recognition particle, and its job was to escort the ribosome to the ER. And the SRP, so the, so the job of the SRP was to bind to the signal sequence that was coming out of the ribosome, and then escort the ribosome to the ER. Well, here, important is going to recognize and bind to the NLS of the protein destined for the nucleus. And now important plus the cargo protein are going to go ahead and now they're going to be able to go through the nuclear pore. Remember the nuclear pore is this octagonal st structure and anything greater than 60 kilodaltons will require this mechanism by binding to important in order for important to help guide it through this nuclear pore. So important and the cargo protein come in together into the nucleus. At the, around the same time, there is a G protein also out in the cytoplasm called RAN, R-A-N. Now RAN is represented here by this light blue structure. RAN is in the off state. So when a G protein is in the off state, it has G, D, P bounds to it. So again, once the cargo complex, that is the protein destined for the nucleus, plus important, have come in, around the same time, the RAN protein, G protein, follows closely behind, and it too comes into the nucleus. Once inside the nucleus, a couple things start to happen. One, the important and the cargo protein will now separate from each other, illustrated here. And then also, the G protein, RAN, will get activated. So RAN, remember, was in the GDP state, the off state when it came in. Once inside the nucleus, there is what's known as a guanine exchange factor waiting for it. So the guanine exchange factor is going to kick out the GDP and allow G TP to bind to the RAN protein. This particular guanine exchange factor that does this is called RCC1. So RCC1 is not really illustrated as a protein or any major structure, but it's the fact that it's here is showing that it's how it works. So again, RCC1, a guanine exchange factor, is kicking out the GDP and allowing GTP to come in and bind. Now as you can see, the RAN protein is dark blue and it has GTP bound to it. So now it's active. Now let's see what happens to it. So the active state of RAN, so RAN GTP, will now bind to important. Okay. So 
ran GTP binds with important and now this structure is taken back out from this nucleus back out into the cytoplasm and then once out in the cytoplasm this RAN G protein has an intrinsic GTPase activity which means that it has the ability to hydrolyze the GTP back to GDP plus PI and when that happens we release the IMPORTIN and the RAN protein so now IMPORTIN is free and back out in the cytoplasm rather to ready to look for and capture another cargo protein with an NLS and the process is ready to start all over again.